You know, I actually didn't like coffee until moving here. I love it now. Hey YouTube, welcome back to another video. Welcome back to another vlog. An extremely hectic week for me. I've literally only just picked up the camera today. Everything's been go, 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 go. Today's a bit of a chill day to a certain extent, but more relaxed that I can give you more of an update as to what's happening this week. So I'm just going through some finances here. Not major finances, just you remember the cabinets that we bought two weeks ago? These ones here? Well, we've started on these. I'm looking at one here that is semi-complete. Just we need a few little bits and pieces left, but it's looking insane. So what I'm about to show you is this one here. And now look at it. That looks incredible. It's amazing what a fresh bit of paint and even just a new handle, how much that makes a difference. Still got that one there as well, which we've started, sanded it down, got some handles on it. Probably gonna paint that today. We did the rails for the drawers. Oh, they don't stick. We've done them in gold as well. Also got my wrap cut. So this is essentially knifeless tape, which will come in handy for the wrap on the Fiat. As you can recall, I didn't really get my line straight on the trunk or the boot lid. What I do is I lay this down first. It's much easier to lay this down than it is to actually cut the wrap in a straight line. So lay this down, then you apply the wrap uh, as usual, and then you take on the edges of this and you peel it and it just, cuts it from underneath. I don't know who invents these things, but I've yet to use it, so I don't exactly know how easy it is, but I've got 60 meters of this, and I reckon I probably need about five meters in total for the bits I need to do on the car, so if I make any mistakes, plenty left here. Did some corporate headshots yesterday as well, so I need to edit those today, do a quick turnaround on that. In the midst of all of that, I'm gonna get that cabinet there painted. What I found is it's much easier to actually see all the imperfections and the chips and all that once it's painted. Um, what I did with that was I painted it first, then you could see everything, then I just sort of wood filled or filled any bits and pieces, let it dry, it sanded it down, and then gave it another two coats. So I'll do the exact same thing with that. Fortunately, these aren't hardwood. They're a bit of MDF and like compact board and laminate. They're not the greatest quality in terms of, I don't know, repairing or fixing. I obviously don't have every tool under the sun um, that I do back in Dublin that we're kind of making do with what we have. The way that's turned out, I'm looking forward to how that is going to turn out. That won't be complete until the legs come. We had to order those on Amazon because we cannot find them on Ireland. Well, the specific type that we want. Just got to wait an extra week or so for that. That should be coming with the window regulator for the Fiat so I can then get that done. Also, what I didn't realize, if you can hear this, I have another batch going on. So obviously in last week's video, if you haven't seen that, I'll put it up here. Uh, I made Biltong. I'm now making a second batch because the first batch we finished rather quickly because it was tasty. However, for this one, I did find malt vinegar and proper coriander kernels. I'm using silver side or silver back meat, larger rump with full fat on one side. So new meat, new vinegar, and I didn't, I, I basically roasted my coriander, crushed it down and then did one part of each, salt and pepper, and added it to my original mix, shook it about. Still kind of the same flavor spice, but we're gonna see how this is turning out. It's gonna be good. And again, just in time for the third test match on Saturday. All right, okay, so first coat is done. Even got all into the crevices inside there. That's not the best thing because I just heard the car and it's... No, she doesn't mean that. She's actually working from home today. She was supposed to go to the office, but she decided to stay here for the rest of the day and work from home. And was so kind to go get us lunch. Because I asked you to make omelets for two hours and you wouldn't. Oh, look at that. So got a Bondi chicken club sandwich with salad. You got the same? It's actually really nice, it's tasty. Quick little break, let that dry, and then we'll get on with the drawers after this. Before I go back to work. Mm. That was a good start. I dropped it on the mat. Dedicated. Finish your lunch early so you can get some painting in. Yeah. And got the other two drying there. I probably leave this dry overnight before uh, I start filling in any sort of holes or scratches or gouges or anything like that. Just let the paint dry properly. We'll fill it all and just lightly sand it with like a higher grit and then 
give it its final second and third coat. How are we looking? Wonderful. I'm working two jobs these days. Painting inside because it's just so hot outside. It's just it's unbearable. It's not even pleasant. It's cooler in here too, so it'll dry at a consistent temperature. Man, it is hot out there. Final test game today. I'm just making sure I'm getting the braai ready for the barbecue. So come half time, I can stick on the meat. But look at this. Not all the drawers are in properly. I just put them in just to kind of see, and obviously we've still got to put a piece of wood there. And it's only one coat of paint. Again, this week has been absolutely jam-packed. Still sweating, I'm just back from pickleball too. I think Katie's got K-Mass today. I think that's what it's called, K-Mass, or I don't know, some carnival thing that they do here. So she's gonna be, I think, walking for seven hours from, I think, Eden Rock all the way up to the Kimpton, I think. A whole seven mile West Bay Road, but jeez, I'm still sweating. So I imagine I'll have to pick her up later. Don't know where she currently is now. I think she's getting makeup done or something like that. Yeah, so watch the match, have a braai, and then potentially go have a look at the carnival later. Oh Lord. Oh my goodness. Okay, so that's pretty much it for this week's vlog. It's been a long week. It's been a busy week. So you're happy to be home right now? I'm very happy to be home. Thank you for picking me up. Thank God I didn't uh, pop down and have a look. Looks like the heavens opened. But yeah, as I said, busy week. I just don't know where the time went. It just flew by. I didn't have a chance to do anything. So it was more of just a, an update this week. The mosquitoes are out. Really bad mosquitoes. I don't know what's happening with the mosquitoes recently, but they are so bad, I'm getting bitten alive. Anyway, yeah, so I think I'm gonna end it there. Uh, thanks so much for watching, I really appreciate it. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, uh, maybe consider doing so and hit the bell notification so you're notified every time I upload a video. If you did enjoy it, make sure to hit the thumbs up because that helps the YouTube algorithm. Maybe dislike the mosquitoes. And until next week, I'll see you then. Cheers. Will I wine?